how to use Redbubble tutorials for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Redbubble to make money. So let's get into it now. Redbubble is a simple to use print on demand platform and what Redbubble basically does is that you only have to upload your designs and you can start selling products with your designs on them. So it has products ranging anywhere from clothing, stickers, masks, phone cases, uh, baby products, accessories, stationary products and other designs. So to get started with Redbubble all you have to do is click on sign up over here. And once you click on sign up, you can choose if you want to do an artist login or a customer login. So uh, we are going to do a artist login. And then you're just going to enter your email address. You're going to enter the shop name that you want. So let's say this is the shop name you want. And then you're going to enter the password for your account that you want. You're going to click on sign up and now i already have an account so i'm just going to log on to my account and now once you log on to your account or create your account this is going to be your dashboard so you can see there are different designs that are being provided by other people you can print them on anything and to actually make money what you're going to do is you're going to go onto your actual account and then you're just going to click on sell your art and then from here, you can choose to create product, set up shop, and then get paid. So uh, the most important thing is obviously creating the products that you're going to sell. So to begin creating your products, even if you don't have a lot of experience in design or art, and if you're not a very creative person, you can still create brilliant products for Redbubble. So you can click on add designs over here and you can upload new work. So you can click on upload new work and upload your work. Now, how can you actually design items for Redbubble? Well, I recommend going on to a simple and easy to use tool called Canva. And what Canva will basically allow you to do is that they will allow you to create a gorgeous illustration with their preset designs to print on different items. So what you're just going to do is you're gonna click on custom size. You're going to convert this from pixels to inches and then you're just going to create a 10 by 10 inch and then this is going to open up our empty canvas and from here you can actually start designing the prints that you want to sell on redbubble because redbubble is just going to be uploading your design so uh you're going to go into your element section on the left over here and let's say i want to make like an animal lover kind of t-shirt so i will search for animals over here and then I'm going to click on graphics and I'm going to use some of these cute little graphics. So this is cute, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Once I click on like an animal, I have recommendations. So you're going to click on see all and then you're going to have similar animations recommended to you. So now you can add like a couple of birds and then you're just going to click on see all. Add a few birds like so. And then at the center, I could add like a quotation. So I'm going to go into my element section and I'm going to go into lines and shapes. And I'm going to take the circular shape. I'm going to expand it and I'm going to place it at the center. So I want to make sure this is centered first. So once you have these purple lines intersecting, it is centered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click and then I'm going to click on send to back. So this is sent to the back and I'm going to first change the color of my background and i'm going to make it like a mustard color or maybe a pink color or a gray color and then the circle could instead be a maroon or a different shade of gray so i could go with a deeper shade of gray like so because i don't want like a huge contrast now after that you can go on google and what you're going to do is you're going to search for birds Quotes. Or you can just search for animal quotations, you can search for any kind of quotations. So, I wish we all had been birds instead. So, I'm just going to copy this quotation over here. You're just going to copy, and then you're going to go back on Canva, and then you're just going to click on text over here. And then you can scroll down and take a look at the different font combinations that Canva provides you with. You can use one of these, or you can even start from scratch and add your own text and then customize your own bit of text. So, instead of doing the customization, I'm just going to use a font combo. So, I'm just going to wait for all of these to load up. And I'm just going to scroll down and take a look at the options. And I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to remove this text over here. I'm going to select this block, select this block, delete this. And now I'm just going to paste my quotation. 
and I'm going to see how I want to arrange this. So I'm just going to place it like so. Or what you can also do is that I'm going to remove the bottom two lines. I'm going to place this all in one line over here like this. And what you can do is first off, I'm going to reduce the font size. And I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to click on effects. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on curve. And now you can see my text has been curved. So I'm going to place it like so. And then I'm just going to paste the bottom text. So I'm going to do command C and then command V. Put this down below. And then I'm going to uh, add my new text. I'm going to go back into my location. Paste it like so. And I'm going to delete the initial section. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on effects. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change the curve to the other side over here. And I'm just going to make it a bit more curved like so. And I'm just going to place this down below like so. So you can see this is like a cute little design. And now I can just click on share, click on download, download this as a PNG. And now I am ready to add my work on Redbubble. So I'm going to click on upload new work and I'm just going to upload my little animation. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add your title. So I'm just going to add it as birds. And then you can add your tag. So you can add bird, human, rotation. Like you can add as many tags as you want. And then you want a description. So make sure that you write an interesting description. You want your description to attract customers to buy your design. And then after that, you can scroll down and take a look at the product previews. So these are the kind of products that you can print out with this kind of design. And then you can also enable and disable certain products. So let's say you don't want your design to be printed on uh, phone cases. So I can disable it for phone cases and people will not be able to purchase phone cases with this design. So you can choose to enable certain styles and certain items so i want to enable stickers i want to enable dresses mouse pads pillows and totes um print cards or i don't want this to be on travel mugs and i'm going to disable some stuff over here and just like that once you have chosen on the basic kind of design you're just going to take a look see that you have all of the designs that you want and then you can scroll down and see some more detail and advanced products as well but after that you can select up to two so uh, these are like the categories you're going to add design and illustration and after that you're going to add digital art so I'm going to add these two and then you can add this to a specific collection of designs that you have uploaded on your Redbubble account. Choose who can view this work and then uh, add if this is mature content, this is not. And then you're going to click on this, you're going to click on save work. And now your new work is being added and then you can choose to sell it for a certain price. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own designs and sell them on Redbubble. And you're now able to set up shop on Redbubble. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.